Hello everyone, this is Ricardo de Vue. So, as I promised, every month we'll have a topic to cover on the promotions or choice days. In this month, I think July will only have the choice day as a promotion. I'm yet to have access to the full calendar of the month, but I think it will be only this, the choice day. Other than the usual super deals and like small runs of uh, 30 units of or some kind of um, product. But needless to say, today is a back to basics. So if you're on the beginning of your BFS and ultralight journey, or <laughs> you are skunking as I was before I downsized everything and enjoyed more being a multi-species angler, uh, I have some deals for you. But before that, I have two new products that I want to show you. You know the deal by now if you watch any of my videos on the choice day or any other video on choice days on AliExpress. So you can hear in, see in here that the sale will start in 9 hours and 21 minutes. And in here you have the coupons. The name of the coupons will vary from country to country. I received an email from AliExpress and I know that the US ones will say US something. But as soon as you open the homepage of AliExpress, you will have access to this and in here you can see the usual deal. If I click it on the sale page, you see in here, for me it's in euros, so you know that the prices, if it's a choice item, will usually be better in the US, for example, but it's the usual deal, 3 in 29, 8 in 69, 20 on 169, 30 on 239 and 50 on 369 and at least in Europe we also have some coupons from the Euro and Shake deals so you shake your phone every time someone um, scores a goal on the Euro and you get some coupons from time to time. But let's get the uh, the pace up because it's too much items I have a lot of tabs open but I wanted to start with something unrelated with the topic today but it's just two new products that I saw appearing on Aliexpress so the first one uh, if you are on Facebook and Instagram maybe you already saw it it's a very very expensive version of the High Star Aurora but it's only 99 grams it's a High Star uh, Gio I have, I have yet to see an unboxing on this because I don't want to bite the bullet because it's very, 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 very similar to the High Star Aurora Air only with a couple, not a couple, um, with some grams less than the, um, the Aurora Air. But you can get it on Charizard version and on the silver and orange version. They seem pretty cool, but... It's like when the Aurora Air appeared $90, hmm, it was too harsh of a price. And this one, it's too much. It's 117 for the Red Dragon version and 121 for this version. It's, it's too much. But when the price tops, it's a very, very interesting reel. And I want to see how they were able to take the, the, the last grams off. But checking another new product i have two this month it's the mi fine uh, jig smart it's a spinning rod but if you see in here it's two meters uh, 0.56 which is very very long and you can get it from 4 to 18 grams which makes this a very very rod a very very interesting rod for saltwater applications uh, so interesting that I order one for me. So in a couple of weeks probably I will have this in my hand and I will ha have a go at trying to catch more sea bass. But these were the news. Also the price is actually pretty good. I don't know if they will take a little bit on the choice day, but if they take, if you under $50, it's uh, let's see the specs in here. 
so it's a carbon fiber yeah pretty pretty cool uh, rod you also very very light if you see in here the version that i bought was the light on 256 centimeters so it's 130 grams with nine guides it's pretty pretty cool and if you see the tip it's 1.6 millimeters so not that uh, thick of a diameter on the tip and pretty pretty good specs see guides guides i like them and actually i want to see it in my hand because i have high expectations for this rod but continuing on with the subject of this month everything that you need to start your bfs and ultralight journey on the chip uh, all the items featured today are under 50 dollars i think all of them comfortably under 50 dollars i didn't even fit any fine rod because they are usually like almost 50 if you want to go on ultralight i know that you can get like the Outrange and sometimes the Illusion Slash for um, 35 euros on Super Deals. You can check there. But the first rod that I have, I already featured it in some other videos. It's the Leo. Uh, it's a carbon rod. with You can get it both on casting and spinning. So this will serve uh, both... Um, uh, versions and you have an extension part you can make it a 156 centimeter rod or 180 centimeters so five six or six foot uh, they are very very serviceable and the price is ridiculous even with shipping it's under 15 euros so very 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 cheap uh, usually on choice day it, it gets cheaper even though it's not a choice item and because it's a four piece rod it will get to your house way 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 faster than a two piece um this rod for me seems very very serviceable and as i told you can get it both on casting and spinning so if you want to make a bfs combo or a cheap ultralight combo you can get this rod depending on the version but continuing on a rod that you saw already on the channel it's the pure Lure telescopic rod if you want to just make a secondary um, combo also uh, you have um, so the cheaper versions that will go to 27 dollars this is a choice item so free fast shipping and you can have it in spinning and casting so pretty 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 good deal for this price i'm very very satisfied with my I, I thought it would be crap because it's telescopic uh, and it's actually very very serviceable it's light for um for a, even for a normal rod 76 grams i have uh, rods that are uh, heavier and they are not telescopic so pretty i was pretty surprised with uh, this telescopic rod and still very very comfortable under the 50 euro um, budget that i set myself to not surpass this month another good rod and this i also tested i think on uh, two weeks ago and i caught on the same day sea bass and bass maybe i'll put a clip uh, of the rods that i already tested on the screen probably on the other corner um this one will feature on a video and i put this rod over here it's 30 euros for me and you have some shipping it will vary from place to place but i don't think it will surpass the 50 euro or dollar mark i feature this one because if you can see in here it's 1.8 meter but that is the starting size so also spinning and casting and you have a 2.25 meter rod with a full gri cork grip it's not premium cork but it's a full grip it f I, I i really like mine even though it's not the rod is nothing special it's a normal 30 dollar rod but just the configuration that you have the sp 
the specs, even though the blank is nothing special, everything put together makes this uh, a very, very good buy because you don't have a lot of light uh, lengthy rods on Aliexpress that go under, I don't know, 100. You have the Pure Lure Zero, the Tsurunoya Health, and I think that's it. Maybe some rods on Madhouse, uh, the store, will sell, but I don't think any of them will go under um, $100. Maybe in, in some crazy promotion, but they will maximum the the best price you would get would be one hundred dollars. This is not the it's not the a shuyu rod. I don't know how, how you should say this. When you get the rod to your house, I bought it on this store, and it will say Obsession Phantom, OBS Phantom. I searched for it on AliExpress, but it at least for me it's more expensive than getting this one. But you should try your luck. It's a very, very comfortable rod to use and I really enjoyed mine and probably put mm, clip over there of me catching a sea bass or a bass, I don't know, because I caught both on the same day. The other rod that I feature in here, also available on spinning and casting, it's a rod that gets overshadowed a lot of times by the delicacy, but it's a way, way better rod even though it's a solid tip it feels for me at least a bit more stouter than the delicacy even with the hollow tip um, this uh, in here the link that i will provide you down below you have the casting the spinning both are the same size so both are uh, six foot and um, you will also have a medium, so watch out for that. I think it's, I don't know if it's only the tip on the rod that will vary, but watch out because in here you will have a, a medium tip that it's from 7 to 21 grams. And the normal ultralight tip is from 0.8 of a gram, I think until 7 grams. So it, it covers the whole spectrum in between the two, but one it's 70 or 75 grams depending on the version that you get a uh, casting or um, spinning you get eight or nine rings so casting will get one more ring a more um, guy than the other and if you get the medium version it will be a lot heavier almost 100 grams but continuing on now that you have four rods that you can uh, get way under uh, $50 you need some reels and for reels I will give you also some options you have the high star Aurora uh, because the Acura is going up on price the micro monster which is an older version of the dark wolf platform it's also going up in price and the Aurora it's coming down in price and it's actually if you don't mind the, it being a little bit more noisy than the Acura it, it it's more capable on the lower end of the on the, the throwing cast weight so with this you can go under one gram uh, and you will have no problems even the serviceability of the reel it's a bit better it's easier to swap the bearings if you want for hybrid ceramic the braking system is way better than the Acura. Only the grindiness of the gearing, it's worse. The knobs uh, are a lot better than the ones on the Acura and the Micro Monster. And this will go under 40 euros and it's a choice item. So very, very fast to your door. Uh, you can put the coupons on top of this. Uh, very 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 good deal this the reel was I think three four five months ago was 90 euros maybe the minimum you could get uh, was 65 70 euros for it now it's 39 before coupons very very good price the other reel that I can show you it's the Cesar Castex also um, 
old friend of the channel I tuned mine it um, you get a shallow spool this is a heavier reel so the Aurora it's 115 grams um, this one it's 200 grams or near that with even with a shallow spool but it's it's almost half the price and you get two spools and the reel works it's very very solid it's very very well uh, designed so like the side plate it will not go it 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 can't fall on the ground because it's attached to the chassis you have a spring mechanism that uh, will swivel and if you just take the grease out of the bearings and put some light oil it will cast three grams for a novice with no problems um, and if you are on the power side or don't have the need to downsize as much because you are going after bass or uh, some uh, harder malted fish you can go with this one with no problems and cast just three grams and over all day and maybe in the giving a bit more beating than the aurora and these were the two options that i had for casting gear now if you want spinning gear you have always the legacy on the size 500 because other than being under 20 euros before coupons it only weighs 150 grams which is very very light for me any reel that's one under 170 grams for the um, 1000 the 800 or the 500 size it's a very very good deal because to get that from other brands like shimano or daiwa you will have to pay over 100 euros i'm not talking about quality just wait the to get under 170 grams you have to spend over 100 dollars so with this you get 150 grams and a very very serviceable reel with two spools one of aluminium and one of plastic i already tested this on the channel it's very very competent reel uh, the color scheme is a bit weird but if you pair it like with a white rod that some of them are uh, it's, uh, it's a good looking reel and well put together as all the reels on me fine even if they are not the top spec they will have some good quality control on them the other reel it's also by me fine i just got mine the other day on the mail and you can get it on a 800 800 size and if we go on the specs in here and i can show you it's a bit beefier than the legacy also four kilos of drag or nine pounds on the 800 and the 1000 uh, five plus one ball bearings um, 170 grams so also very very light but a lot more beefier this one feature carbon washers on the brakes it's an updated brake system by me fine you get the fancy skinny knobs uh, and all the ball bearings are stainless steel so you can get it on a bit of uh, saltwater fishing if you want and they have i think more sizes than the legacy and it's a pretty 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 good looking reel on the hand uh, dark gun metal with red it's always a nice color combo and to finish another reel that i have in here that caught my pb bass the Meredith Hummingbird don't mind the noise it's a snap hitting the the reel it, it's not a bicycle it's a pretty pretty cool reel uh, also very light I think this one it's 163 grams for the 1000 S I think the only one that you have available on choice it's the 1000 has yes it's the one that i have in here it's the one that i recommend i don't have big big hands it's i would say it's a normal daiwa 1000 size the shimano ones usually are a bit bigger 
because the 500 on Shimano is very, very, very small. But overall, it's a pretty, pretty cool uh, reel. Also on black with red and also with the skinny knobs. Pretty good deal. It's 26 euros right now. Uh, also, it will not break the bank and it works and has some nice... Uh, features my webcam will not focus but this is see-through it's ported uh, also the handle it's ported in here you can see the mach CNC machining pretty 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 cool reel and caught my PB bass but continuing on some hard body baits that you will also need actually you don't need them I will just show some examples, the ones that I use that are cheap, but if uh, you are starting, I would recommend you to start with soft plastics and then go to hard body baits. Uh, but if you already feel comfortable with hard body baits, you can check these ones out. They are linked. Everything is linked below by order of appearance on screen. This is my favorite crankbait. It's a 38mm, 4.5 grams, so very, very heavy for the size, which means it's very, very beginner friendly. Uh, it also works very well even on fast current. It has a very, very loud knocking sound when you retrieve it and has a very, very tight action. Uh, I caught most of the shubs this year on the this color so i think sexy mino ghost or something like that uh, the price it's 5.46 but it can go down i think i saw it when there's sales it goes to three something and that at this price is a good buy at three dollars uh, it's a steal just grab how many different colors you can get the colors that I recommend for this lure are the translucent ones. So uh, let's see the ones that work. But it's this one, this one. All the 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 color schemes that you have with a bit of see through are the are the ones that work the best on this lure. But particularly this one, this one works amazingly. At least for me, for chub, even for bass, I got lot of attacks but the place where i fish for bass is very very grassy and trebles in evil exposed single hooks are a no-no so not yet to get the bass on the this fellow over here the other crankbait that i always recommend it's the Leidu hot micromino this one is way cheaper than the the best legends this is a 35 millimeter 2.4 grams so a bit on the lighter size, also floating like the other one, and it's 2.14 euros. So very, very, very cheap lure. Um, this one has also very, very tight action. Uh, it will dive uh, about the same. So if you push it hard, it will go just over one meter. Um, but overall, it has worked wonders for me. Uh, also, if you see, I don't fish a lot of sinking lures because of snagging. I will not recommend sinking lures on the beginning other than jerkbaits if you are going after trout. Uh, but this and the Bass Legends are the two crankbaits that I recommend if you are beginning to assemble an arsenal of BFS or ultralight lures. And continuing on, the one that I was talking, uh, this is a small, small jerkbait. It's a sinking jerkbait. It's 38 millimeters, 3.2 grams. So it should be easier to cast. It's a uh, 3.2 grams. It's already a nice um, way to cast. This, if you're going after smaller fish, uh, reaction bites, even with chub, I caught chub on small sinking jerk baits uh, but this ideal it's for stream trout uh, maybe small mouth if you have them on your area 
but it's a very very nice lure it has some nice action just twitch it and tug it while retrieving and you will catch fish but continuing on now covering another spectrum of the water the top you have this micro popper by kingdom very very classic approach to the design a lot of colors and this will go just under uh, four euros um, very very good price and you have in here two versions so one is a floating 3.5 grams and the other one is a seeking five grams um, and i think the last hard bait that i have it's just a curiosity because it's the cheapest sort of glide bait it's a two-parter uh, floating lure by Blux uh, that I have in here I don't know how well the camera will pick it up but basically it's a 70 millimeter 4.2 gram uh, sort of glide bait is a jointed bait and they will give you a spare tail because the tail it's silicone but it's 5 euros and 41 cents and if you want to say that you have sort of a glide bait on your arsenal and you want to just see it going just up under the water line like this it's pretty pretty cool and they work uh, this one it's still on the box because by mistake I was taking advantage of some coupons and I ordered two on the same color mistakes were made then but as i told you i would recommend you to start with soft plastics and that's what i will cover next just go up because i was seeing something this is the supercontinent uh, crazy lures it's just basically uh, 40 millimeter the, with the size that i recommend uh, i caught my pb bass on this lure uh, you can drop it like a drop shot hopping it on the bottom and even you when you retrieve it the pincers will do a very very nice movement it's a pretty pretty cool uh, craw I have it in several colors uh, probably too many um, but I just like it very very much it works very very well it worked multiple times which is always a nice thing and I really 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 like it uh, but try to not make it too long and it's very very cheap a pack of 20 40 millimeter uh, lures it will run you 2.24 euros probably a lot less in the US another one I don't use worms i don't really do um what do you call it um i'm having a brain fart right now wacky worm yes i don't use it i just put the ewg with a chub weight on this uh, needle tail worm and fish it i caught the sea bass last week on this specific lure it's a 75 millimeter it's a bit big but you can um, just throw it weightless with the EWG hook if you are on calmer waters if you are not on calmer waters just put it a chub weight and cast it it will work very very well you have a lot of action in here because you have a fat part on the first half um, for you to put your EWG this is a weedless presentation uh, you have in here the canal for the to hide your uh, tip of the hook and in here it will taper and flatten like this and in here you have the tail end which makes also very 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 good presentation not too flashy but it will have the um, it will have enough movement to entice the fish to bite uh, caught me sea bass and my colleague was fishing 
with this X same exact color because he was the one that gave it to me because I, I had mine order on darker colors and this one was the juice that day so pretty pretty cool I think in between the two of us we caught like eight or nine sea bass on one or two hours so pretty pretty cool but continuing on you know this this is the polaris copy it's uh, four centimeters so almost two inches it's a worm you just put a jig head on the beginning let the rest of the the tail and the body to work and it will work wonders and it's 2.26 euros for a 50 pack so it's very very inexpensive and the the plastic from supercontinent other than the tantas and the ring the sheds they will last a long time you can literally get like five ten fish with the same soft plastic so this will last you a long time if you have buddies buy different colors and swap in between the two of you because it will take you a long time to run through the through the 50 pieces unless you fish every day it's, it's it will be a hard ordeal to go through the 50 and the last one from supercontinent my favorite actually it's not the last one uh, but it's the tanta I put it in here on a bigger size usually I will go with a 50, 25 millimeter so one inch version and in here I put the one and a half so 35 millimeter 49 millimeter and 65 millimeter because I for the smaller size you have to use a homemade jig with fly hooks and it's too much of a hassle and I will give you a link and show you the um, smaller jig heads that you can use with the 35 millimeter version also very very good value this one will get tracked a little bit faster because the plastic is a bit more softer I have a pack in here of blue and purple ones so half half it's these ones and these are the 35 millimeter version and again you'll get 50 on a pack for uh, 2.47 euros so very very inexpensive lure it will work with everything bass chub uh, barbell uh, everything you can think you can catch with uh, with the tantas imitation just as i told you and you have a lot of colors just throw it on a jig head this works better with the exposed hook uh, all my ringed um, lures i prefer to expose the hook when you uh, when i don't have a canal to hide my uh, hook tip i usually will not mess with ewgs and the last one it's a uh, paddle tail this is a paddle tail it's a uh, the smaller version it's 51 millimeters so perfectly good size um, and again it's 1.7 euros and you get 20 pieces per pack so amazing deals from supercontinent and to tie it all now we go to the terminal tackle these are just some snaps these are the cheaper ones they all feel and look the same if you go from 1.5 euros until 3 euros it's all of them are made on the same factory all of them feel the same and all of them work very very well for the price that they ask, they ask. so these are stainless steel 50 piece per pack and you have size triple zero until four so usually i will run from zero to triple zero uh, or uh, double zero i will usually be on the zero end of the scale right here um 
I pull things through snags, I had no problems with this, even with the fly snaps I don't have problems, but these ones are easier to tie and easier to stay put on. Uh, I really also don't put the fly snaps that I use in here because I only use fly snaps because I use homemade jigs with fly hooks and you really need a thin wire uh, snap to pass through the eye of that, that the, those hooks. So with the things that I present you today, you only need this type of snaps. But continuing on with the uh, hooks, also by Supercontinente, these are the EWGs. You can get this massive 80 millimeter one, or you can get uh, what it is. So a size 10. Uh, this is 21 centimeters, so under one inch EWG hook. What I recommend to you, since they are too cheap probably you have access to size 1 EWG hooks on the store just get the other ones under this is also a slender profile it's not a very very wide gap this work very very good with the cross and with the worm because they are a slender profile and the hook will have no problems going past the plastic and still hooking the fish uh, they are very 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 good value you get uh, let me check 20 on the smaller size you get 20 per pack and it's around three euros so pretty pretty good value and a very very hard thing to come by on europe and i think usa uh, websites and web stores and to tie everything together the chab weights i only feature the um this one's this uh, made of lead because i know that the ones made from tungsten are a bit more expensive but these ones um, are way cheaper and would fit better on the type of video that i'm doing this month but if you are a conscious guy that wants or are obliged by your state to use tungsten Supercontinent also has tungsten. If you go down probably in here. Uh, yeah, you see. In here you will have tungsten on the related items. It will appear to you the tungsten versions of these uh, chab weights. Chab weights are really my favorite to use because they are very, very simple to use. Uh, it will make sort of a movable net rig with the EWG hook when you're fishing the cross which is actually pretty cool uh, it will give more of a twitchy vibe if you are fishing like a shad or a paddle tail because you have when you pull the line the chair will go up and it will take some time for the hook to go up also and when you give it a slack line the chair will fall faster and then it will give another tug on the uh, hook and the, the plastic but if uh, you are using worms you also have a different type of shab weight that you can use that is this one so it's more uh, of aerodynamic profile if you are pulling through grass you can use this one it starts on 3.5 grams the other one started at 2 so if you want to push a worm through grass this is the ideal one for swimming presentations this is a bit better and to pull it through snacks uh, now it's the jig part of the terminal tackle you have the samolas it will run you 2.3 euros depending on the version and you have like from 0.8 gram until i think four or six depending on the hook size yes seven grams is the maximum that you can get but on the size six hook which is the one that i recommend for the tantas um you can get 0.8 of a gram until four grams with everything in between 0.1, 1, 1.5, uh, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 
Um, and they have some spines in here to fix your soft plastic and they have a nice cap on them. I uh, usually use it on the winter when the the current on the creek is very very fast and I need it to send my soft plastics a bit a bit in a bit more depth than usual I will throw uh, say 6 3.5 grams or 2.5 grams just to put it in front of the fish that are not right right on the top of the water uh, and if you are lazy like me and you like chabs the two types that I showed you but you don't have the patience to put everything together so the EWG hook and then the the sinker and uh, you can buy it uh, pre-assemble not pre-assemble because this is embedded in here but it's basically a um, stiff presentation of the same sort so um, you just have it in uh, already fixed on the high of the hook so this is bit uh, it's more for swimming you have in 3.5 grams and 5 grams, so which are the ones that I really recommend for BFS and ultralight applications. Maybe only the 3.5 grams, it's enough. Um, very, very cheap. You get 5 per pack. Um, and if you are using worms, as I showed you the other uh, sinker type of style, a bit more slender profile. You have these ones also by Samola, even cheaper, so around two euros. And you can get it in lighter weight. So these ones start at 1.75 grams. Very, very, very light um, weight on this. And you can see the chart in here because depending on the on the weight that you get, the hook size will change. So if you get the 1.75 gram and 2.5 grams you will get a size 2 hook um, but continuing on if you want to fish with jigs I also have you covered these are the smallest jigs that you can find on Aliexpress they are made with a sort of compound of tungsten so this is like tungsten with resin um, pretty pretty cool looking you have the skirts uh, and they start at 1.8 grams with a half um, inch hook so 1.2 centimeter hooks hook lengths on them so you have 1.8 2.5 3.5 and 5 grams and a lot of colors um, also available and they have this sort of um, anti-grass paintbrush thing so you don't get snag it's uh, weedless it's not uh, how do you call it weed proof so and you have a bait keeper in here so embedded also on the weight uh, the tungsten resin mixture to give it a bit of weight and they look pretty cool I have these ones I'm yet to find the perfect spot to use them but they feel quality on the hand uh, and now we pass to line line I will really only give you a recommendation for both uh, braid and leather for two reasons this is the chip it's the same that is in here it's the Kingdom Recaro Fly or Thinner. You have it in three colors. You have it in uh, three sizes. They will come on 100 meter spools. And they are dirt cheap. So 3.54 euros for um, a 100 meter spool like the one that I have in here. The reason I only recommend this one, it's because maybe until 9, 10 euros, you will not get better than this. Uh, probably will get worse. So it's not... Um, how do you
do you call it? It's not... It's not a good thing to mess because if this one works, why mess with it? And if it starts to get fluffy, which can happen, just swap it because it's very, very inexpensive. My recommendation on this one, the one that uh, for me always feels quality, it's the 0.4 and 0 0.6. 0 0.2 can have some iffy spots on the spool and the 0.4 it's still very thin it's 0.10 millimeters it can hold 5 kilos so 11 pounds and the 0.6 is 0.12 if i were you running any of the gear that i recommended before other than the aurora air that i can that i think you can push a 0.4 there in all of the others just point, put 0.6 if you need just get a uh, for some reason, if you need to put some backing, just grab the cheapest mono you can find on your local store and put it in there to give it a bit more and then slap the 100 meters of braid. And for leather, uh, I do not recommend any of the fluorocarbon that I got from Aliexpress, not because I had any bad experience, it's just because the price is not there. So the price of the fluorocarbon, it's exactly the same than the one that I can get in here. So why bother when I can see things in my hand? So I know how it is over there, but I have good luck with this fluoro coated uh, mono line. So this is a copolymer by Signite. It's a Monster T1. Um, the one that I have one or two reels. Actually, I have two reels spooled with this line. It works very, very good. It's uh, smoother than fluoro and mono. It's uh, it has less memory than uh, mono, and also less stretch than mono, and has I would say less memory than some fluoro that I've used before. If you want to use this one, because this will sink, um, just use this as leather material. But again, if you are invested on your lures and fishing, get uh, some fluoro locally. Uh, ask someone from the things that you have available, what is the best for your budget and get it. Uh, I can tell you what I use mostly. Uh, it's... Um, fluorocarbon from Daiwa, it's the Prorex. It's leather material, it has a bit of stretch, but for me it has worked until now, so I didn't swap it. I got a lot of uh, poundage um, spool, different spools on a promotion, and I'm still running that. When that runs out, I'll probably have to find another one because I don't see it anywhere that I can get it for near the same price so until then i will not mess with any other but this is the line where you will put everything uh, i'll give you a couple of options so i'm running all my jigs now on this type of boxes the better quality ones that i have are the ones from suronoia and istar which are identical uh, the type of plastic, the type of inches, you see here you have the metal rod insertion on the inch, so it's not plastic with plastic. And you have two sides. You have one side for your jig heads, so it's like uh, you have a slit from top to bottom where you can snug your hook from your jig. Even uh, the presentation already made if you are lazy and you want to prepare everything of the day before. And on the other side, you have some compartments where you can put your soft plastics like they have in here. And it's five bucks, five euros, 5.85 euros on the promotion. And if you, if you want to find cheaper ones, you can come in here. But I really recommend the one from Suronoia because the plastic is very, very good quality. Um, put everything inside I got this bag and usually I would recommend the backpack that I have from Bastash which is 30 uh, euros 
but you have to remember that I film everything, I have filming gear, sometimes I try to film two videos on the same day with different techniques, I have to pack a lot of things and the last times I went fishing and I have my car nearby so I have only the filming gear that I needed with me, everything else was in the car, I put this sling back Pack, uh, this sling pack and it's amazing you just take what you need uh, you have a uh, place to your pliers you have like uh, three bags so the one that goes on the um, full size of the back of the sling bag pack you have the second one which is a bit bigger and you have the smaller one where you can put your line you also have a place um, um, a circle thing where you can put your um, lanyard I think it's the word that I'm looking for with your forceps with your scissors with anything that you need and I think I did not try it but you can I think you can put a pure lure telescopic rod inside of this uh, backpack and it's pretty pretty good quality uh, from iStar. The only thing that you have to keep in mind, even though this one is on the presentation, you can only get this color. So a bit more discreet, but overall pretty good um, sling pack. And you can use it two ways across your chest, which is, it gives you a lot of accessibility to your things on your back. Uh, when you go to from place to place, and you can actually put it on your, uh, I would say belly, not belly. You can put it around your waist and have better access to the pockets. But also, I think I still have some items in here. So it's these boxes, they are imitation from Mayu. And you have three types. You have the slitted foam ones for your jigs. You have the almost square compartments that you can move around. And then you have fixed compartments that run like this on the horizontal. So I think there are some pictures. Yeah, this is one type. This is the other type. And why it doesn't have... So this is very annoying. Either way, you can mix and match them so they will latch to each other and you have a double-sided box and it's three euros and 23 each one i don't know if you can have any pictures in here from the inside yes you see this one they are also removable you can put bigger things in here than the other ones and you can mix and match uh, all of them just slide them back to back and they will stay put together and now just some things that you will also need and i even though i'm a cheapskate i don't recommend you using a multi-tool or multi um, plier for fishing because if you are fishing for smaller fish you'll get screwed trying to take a hook from inside of them with that type of crap if you're going after bass, sure, no problem, you can fit everything on their mouth. But if you're going after small fish, I really recommend you to get a scissor like this. That will make the same thing as the pliers, but at least will cut fluoro, mono and braid better. And you even have the split ring tip in here and it's very, very cheap. It's two euros and you have the place in here to put your lanyard and do not let it follow on the water and i would get uh, forceps these are way 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 better to take hooks out of fish you get a lot more leverage and the other thing that you have to keep in mind if you're wading or really near the bank or with your feet already on the water uh, surf casting something like that if you have your fingers through like on a scissor it's way less likely that you will lose your tool even if you don't have a lanyard 
if it's just a plier where you just have your grip it can slide and gone forever and then you are on the crap situation with the fish doing this and you trying to take the hook out of his mouth so that's why i usually use scissors and forceps i will run both of them uh, even though you have to carry two items instead of one uh, for me it makes a lot of sense and i'm oh almost one hour nice no one will watch this crap to the end and these were all the recommendations that i have for a beginner that wants to go on bfs or uh, ultralight spinning i think this covers everything that you need to start fishing other than getting a license um with the things that I, you see featured in here i went bass fishing shop fishing uh creek fishing um big river fishing uh saltwater fishing lake fishing i caught chub bass um, barbell a sea bass i hooked a mullet uh my friend with the sim gear uh caught trout so it covers a big big spectrum of the fish that i have in here probably if you have birds it will also be good smallmouth it will also be good panfish probably the ideal to use this stuff so if you have that around you and you don't mind catching a lot of small fish before the big one but have a lot of action give it a try on bfs and ultralight it's very very fun and every time you catch a fish big or small you will have a blast because they will fight like hell and the rod will bend the drag will peel and you will have 99 percent of the same sensation of catching a major pb so with that said i will see you guys next time bye